All right, everybody, got a bit of a different video today. Usually I upload gaming content. If that's the kind of stuff you like, then please go check it out after this video. And if you enjoy it, then subscribe. It'd be great to have you here. But that's not why we're here today. What we're here to talk about today is how to set up your Elgato HD60S or 60S Plus, which is what I personally use, with your PlayStation 5 and your Astro A50s. Um, this will also work with some of the previ previous Astros, such as the A40s, along with the Astro adapter, which they recently brought out due to the PlayStation 5 having a huge flaw, as I'm sure you're all aware. Basically, it doesn't have an optical output in the back of the PlayStation for the Astro headset, which ruins the sound on uh, recordings or streams. So what you want to do in order to get all of that, first, let's talk about what you would want. Of course, you would want your own voice, which is how I am getting mine right now. Uh, I record my mic separately with my Elgato Wavelength 3. Of course, you're going to want to record the people that you're playing with and against and the actual game itself. Now, it can be a little bit complicated, so if you are a little bit confused, well, just pause the video, try to catch up, rewind it if you're a little bit confused and you need to look over it again. But I will try to make it as simple as I can and hopefully help you guys get the recording or streaming that you would like. So let's get right into the setup. Okay, so just to quickly show you guys I have the recording right here, the video is recording, uh, this is on Elgato's own capture of course, I personally use OBS but it doesn't really matter. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this wire, so this wire right here, plug it into your PC or your laptop, whatever one you're using, and then this wire, this wire coming from the PC will then reach the Elgato. So that will go in here, okay? Um, you're then going to want to take your HDMI from the PlayStation 5, so that's this wire, of course, and you're going to plug that into the in, as you can see right here, on the Elgato. The next step, of course, is to get the Elgato out, so as you can see here, the out, and you're going to take that, and put that into the Astro adapter HDMI input. So from there, you get the power wire from the Astro adapter, you plug it into here, and then that will go into the back of the PlayStation. After that, what you're going to want to do is, of course, you should already have the, play the PlayStation connected, or sorry, the Astro connected to the PlayStation. So this will be connected to the PlayStation 5. That should be simple enough. The, the next step would be to get this right here. This is the optical in, as you can see. So you want the optical in wire, and you want to put it into this little slot here, this one. So that should connect it to that. And what you're gonna to want to do is get the HDMI output on the Astro adapter and we're going to put that into the back of the TV and that should give you picture that is essentially how to set it up um, I know my accent is hard to understand I've tried to be pretty clear for everyone if you guys do have any questions or aren't understanding it um, because obviously my wires are a bit all over the place and it is a bit confusing, then leave a comment down below and I will try to explain it as clear as I can in the comment section. Okay, so the final part of the video which I nearly forgot about, so sorry about that. The settings for obviously the recording. First things first, never ever forget to turn this off. This needs to be turned off in order for the Elgato to work. It's basically just Elgato's way of stopping people from recording say Netflix or Disney Plus. Prevents people from basically getting copyright strict. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing you're going to want to do, right, this is to get the sound. So the input device, obviously it should be Astro headset A50s or whatever headset you have. Okay. The output is where it gets a little bit harder. So what you're going to want is the HDMI device TV. All right. So that is what you want. You get that set up and then you do that. Uh, this doesn't matter. Output to headphones has to be chat audio. And then for me, I have to use audio format priority because if I use Bitstream Dolby, it, it does this weird screeching noise. So that doesn't work out for me. One extra thing 
that um, you have to sort of do and it is a little bit confusing as it, it's really stupid and it shouldn't be the case but say you make a, a game base let's say I, I go into well I'll go into my, my club chat right so I'll go to voice chat let me quickly click on that you are not able to change this once you've got um, the settings the way they should be but I find that roughly this area is the best area to get game sound and to get your friends and your voice all sort of the right volume for the game. Um, personally I do turn down my Elgato gameplay down slightly and keep my microphone all the way to the max but this is the best settings in my personal opinion um, to get the, the gameplay because if you don't if you do not have these settings then what essentially happens is the game sound is it's too quiet and your friends are too or you and your friends are too loud um or if if it's the opposite way if it's all the way to the left there the game's just way too loud and you're too quiet and it's it's a struggle to hear your friends especially if you're in part obviously party chat so um, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer, but this is the perfect settings, for me at least, to capture my sound, my friends, uh, my microphone, and everything else. The one I will say, sorry, because I didn't mention it in, earlier in the video, basically, I cannot capture my, my voice with the A50s, the Astro A50s, on the recordings. Which is why I use the the Wavelink 3 here to capture my voice. That because I have it plugged into the PC and into OBS so that I can record my voice that way. So just a little tip: if you are going to be doing this setup, you will also have to have a separate microphone plugged into the PC capturing your voice. And the Astro A50 headset will still be talking to your friends. It's just the recordings will not pick that up. And that's why you need a microphone but that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was a bit complicated and a bit long um i haven't seen any other videos out there that sort of explain it and try to help out there is one that helps you get the game sound but not not everything else so hopefully this has helped everyone um if it has please give me a thumbs up if you're stuck comment down below i will help you as much as i can and have a good day i'll see you in the next video bye